Hey there, people. <clears throat> What's high is Grandpa Young, and I want to talk a little bit to my people about what 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 they're doing to themselves. A lot of my people they're getting up here and they're talking about you know making themselves look better. How can you look better than you already are? Your blackness is so good and sweet. I mean, like, look at us. We're running around and dying our hair blonde. How many black people you know that blonde born, was born with blonde hair? You know, you look like a clown when you do stuff like that, like that. Trying to look like a white people. White people are ugly. They're real ugly now. And you want to get up here and look like some white person. I mean, what's the matter with you, girl or guy or whatever? Especially you, girl. You want to get up here and get got all this blonde hair on your head and stuff like this here. I ain't never met nobody who who's black and was born with blonde hair. Now you need to stop that there. This is Grandpa Jones saying good night, goodbye, see you later. Okay, adios, amigo. Uh oh, we still running? Wow, look at this here. Man, this here thing just don't want to stop talking. I'm filming me. You know, that's because I'm black. Black is beautiful. Black is lovely. Black is sweet. We like sugar and honey. You know, and we got a good heart too. We got a real good heart. But we have to get up here and start loving ourselves and each other. So we could be a fantastic nation and rule the whole world. Yeah, we want to kill each other. That's it. That conditioning. The white man done conditioned us to want to kill each other and kill ourselves. White man got you thinking that you're a monkey, that you came from monkey. <coughs> but if you look at the skin, you move all that hair out of the way of the monkey and the chimpanzee. Remove all that, that hair away and look at the skin of the monkey. That monkey's skin is white. So that should tell you a whole lot where white people came from if they didn't come from where, they, where I know they came from. They tell you about um, cavemen and, and all this stuff that, you know, we used to be cavemen. That was on every, every show I saw, they, they got white people speaking themselves as cavemen. I ain't living no cave. My ancestors ain't living no cave. Maybe the white people had them living in the, the caves and everything, but not my people. We in, in Africa now. We were, we were, we were kings and, and queens and rulers of, of of the nations and stuff like this here. You know, they get up here and they they tell you that um, Queen of Sheba was a white girl. They had these white people playing a part of Queen, Queen of Sheba. Over there in, um, where was she from? Ethiopia? How many white people you know in Ethiopia that didn't go there and snitch into the country or something? Ethiopia, all of Africa was black. And they got you believing that Cleopatra and, and Queen of Sheba and all of these here people, they were white. They got white people speaking them. Same thing with Jesus Christ. They sit up here and make you think Jesus Christ was a white man with long, uh, what, what color, that brown hair, long, white people hair, something. Jesus, when you read in the Bible, it tells you he had curly hair. And how many people you know have curly hair besides black people? <laughs> Naturally curly, that is. And then they said his skin was like a, a bronze red color, a dark color. And in the area he was born, you ain't finding no whole bunch of white people, especially back then, born, you know, you know that's white. And they got you got these pictures on the wall of this white man. You know that that picture was painted by Michelangelo, and he had his nephew sit down as his model. And so he painted a picture of his nephew and said, this is Jesus Christ. And every black person in the world is believing that. How dumb can we get? We thinking, sitting up here thinking that Jesus Christ is white. We better wake up.
Só, se não é lá no...